He got away. He was in the boat. I had him. <laughs> no! Damn, dropped all the salt on top of the sea salt shaker. Damn! We're fishing now! Woo! Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I would imagine any fish I catch is pretty upset too. Oh well. It's rock and roll. I am back out on the lake. It's an incredible day. It's really hot. Uh, this is the last day of September. Last night was night 41 for the year. It was a little bit chilly getting into about even nine o'clock or so. Um, the evening uh, when I was sleeping was kind of cool, but um, I haven't switched to my winter sleeping gear yet. I just have my PJs, wool socks, and a sweater, Patagonia from Denise. Thank you so much, Denise. Um, it is meal time. I had 199 fish going into this year. Um, as a total uh, when I got here yesterday and this morning was fish 200, 201 and 203. I'm not gonna lie, I love fall camping. Just the smell of the leaves, um, the colors, it's awesome. Um, you uh, definitely build up an appetite. And um, so let's do this. I think the oil's ready, it's fish time. When I was um, filleting it, there was actually a, um, a rather large, I'd say about three, three and a half foot um, garter snake that uh, came up just about half a foot away from me uh, as I was cutting it up. And um, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely the wild out here. Nowhere near as good as Netflix. Nowhere near is getting the movie. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Fish fry time, baby. Out in the wild. And I'm going to knock it back with a non-alcoholic German beer. Killer combo. Autumn. The outdoors. Night 42 tonight. I'm not sure what my new goal is. It used to be 50, then it was 100, then it was 150, then it was 200, and now I'm 203. So I'll have my fish fry and my beer, my Zaringer. Contemplate the new goals for fish, for life. So after eating a mess of fish, how do you clean up the mess of fish. Water. I have put in a little bit of soap and I gave it a rinse with that. And then I use pine leaves. And when I say pine leaves, I mean spruce leaves. I will be making tea out of these spruce leaves later too. Not the same ones before you comment. And some more. There was a um, beaver that was smacking his tail just in behind the boat, like right there, two feet while I was having my fish. So he either wanted some or wanted me to heck out of here and um guess what he got neither 
Donezo. Another rinse, we're good to go. Nice and clean. And it's also got that nice pine scent. Woohoo! I hang that pan on my uh, tent ridge line to let it dry, but also uh, it keeps the meese and the mice out of it, which I prefer. I did bring popcorn, so I'm going to build a fire and snack on that tonight. I did have popcorn last night, but I made it on the stove, and I didn't show you that. It was private popcorn, I guess. Just me and the popcorn. But we'll have a nice big fire tonight and have some popcorn. I might even try a little bit of honey glaze on the popcorn. Somebody told me that that was an option. So we'll give that a shot. Um, got uh, some tinder kindling fuel ready to roll. I got to build up that uh, pit a little bit. Should be awesome. All right, let's go explore. I'm a go explore. That's what I do. I explore. That's a big boy fish. Well, he's medium size. I'm sure he's got bigger brothers out there. But um, this is a northern pike. Jackfish. He's still a pretty big boy. Woo. He gave me a good fight. And thank you very much. I appreciate it. Woo. There he is. Not bad little fishy. Okay. Bye-bye, buddy. And he's gone. And I'm slimed. It is 4.43, September 30th. And it is hotter than heck out here. But it's beautiful. I'm touring around. Beautiful leaves, colors. Smells amazing. Smells like fish. That's where we came in. Woo!
I still have cocoa from this morning. It's not hot, but it ain't cold. 6.15. Almost 12 hours ago I made it. Come back. Let's talk. The beavers aren't happy with me. The geese aren't happy with me. Mosquitoes are after me. I would imagine any fish I catch is pretty upset too. Oh well. <laughs> got something on there. We got. Oh. That's not a bad sized walleye. Get him in the boat, silly. Wow. There he is. That's a boat. 14 inches of walleye. Woo! -hoo! And he's cooperating. Wow, thank you for letting me take your picture, bud. Whew! <laughs> a little bit of a fight. Come here! Oh, now you're being silly. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Check him out. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You were fun. Woohoo! Let's do that again. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Whew. That's a nice big walleye there. Wow, on the drop shot. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Check him out. Big boy walleye. There we go. Nice big walleye. Wow. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh man. That was a little bit of a fight. He got away. He was in the boat. I had him. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh man. Woo! It's all good. Let it go. <laughs> no, so close. 
he still counts. That was in the boat in my hand. That was a counter. <laughs> oh man. Woo. There we go. There's another one. Come on. Oh, lost him. Oh, that was so close. Okay. <laughs> go home now. Let's have some popcorn, have a fire, walk away. Not best of three, not best of five, not final 10, not best of 50. Steven, go home. Okay, we're going home. Okay, we're done. That's enough. Paddle away. Not gonna lie. I did best of three on that last one anyways. Nice little moonlight paddle. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of footage of the moon tonight. It was absolutely killer last night. That was awesome. I'm still on the awesome thing. Is what it is. It's awesome. <laughs> awesome sauce. This is beautiful too. I'm glad I stayed out a little longer because this is gorgeous. It is 724 and it's still beautiful out. I'm getting a little starvy now. I think, hmm, what do you think? Chickpeas, chickpeas, red Thai peppers, a little olive oil, a little pink Himalayan salt. Oh, and I've got some black licorice I'm gonna dig into as a treat. Actually, yesterday and today, all the meals have been a treat. Yeah, definitely getting hungry. Yo, oh, I just felt the temperature go down. Definitely a chill just came on. Woo! wonder if the camera picks it up. There are a ton of little fish jumping over there. See, they look like, like it's raining. Could I be this silly? Yes.
I don't even know what best of three means. I'm throwing this thing out three times. Three, three pulls. See what happens, then we'll, then we're done. Home is around the corner. I'm almost there, anyways. There's the fire. Got her rocking and rolling. I got my king chair. Got some firewood. I got my popcorn ready to rock. Moon is crazy tonight. Right. Right down there is the cliff to the water. I'm cutting it pretty close here. I've got my chair on my high-end rock. Keep it at a nice little angle so I don't break my back. But um, yeah, the water is uh, right there. It's not a far distance. That'd be an Awesome fall. I've already fell in the water once today. That was really cool. Well, just one leg. So even right now, I changed my wool socks out, but um, one shoe is wet, one leg is wet, and one side of my ass is wet. I'm thinking it's popcorn time. There we go. So not a bad day today, fishing-wise. That was nine fish. I didn't do double digits, didn't do double Ds, but um, that was four walleye, three pike, and two smallmouth. I will take that any day. That's a good day. That takes me to 208 fish so far on the year. And to be clear, the vast majority of those are catch and release. There's only a couple lucky guys that made it into the pan. I mean, lucky for me. No mosquitoes right now. There were mosquitoes last night, and there were a few, as I mentioned before, on my on my trip, last little canoe trip, or last little explorer. I hear popping. I hear something popping. There we go. Remember the rule, five second rule, which I never follow. I don't mind saying I'm probably still about two feet away from that fire, and it is hot on my hand. Definitely warmer tonight. I wasn't wearing a shirt all the way up until 8 o'clock. And it is 9.12 right now. Wow, that's way past my bedtime. I had some chickpeas. Spilt half of them. 
I had some dates. And I'm going to follow this up with some popcorn and some non-alcoholic beer. That's the way I roll. I can hear those pops all the way across the little valley here in the little bay that I'm in. There's the good stuff. There's the gold right there. That's it. I'm calling it. That was five seconds. Look at that. It was burning the top of the wood and that wasn't even in the direction of the, fire, of the flames. All right. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go nuts. And even though I think I put on enough salt, I'm going with more salt. I want a lot of salt. I want it really salted. Awesome. Let's check that out. Of course I can't just grab one. i got to grab like a silly little handful, but because I'm a pig. Oh, darn, that's good. Oh, it's hot too. Wow. How's that? How's that for a wind up on an evening? Dave exploring down the water. Some popcorn, fire. Beverage. Beauty. Boom. All right. As expected, the popcorn is killer. It always is. I am going to dry this shoe. And this foot, that was the side. And complement that with that. There we go. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to me. It's always a good feeling to get out, everything loaded, packed, set up, not forget anything. That's always a bonus. I learned that a couple trips ago. I might bring backup shoes. That could work. But it's nice to have all that done. Have a long day, successful day, safe day, and just sit back, enjoy a fire, have some treats. The sun, or I should see, the moon is so bright. I keep calling it the sun. Uh, moon's awesome. I can still see so, uh, the stars though. Might get some northern lights over there. There's no wind, particularly. I guess there's a little bit of a breeze. It's blowing the fire a little bit, but I can't feel anything. I'm right shore side here on my precarious little chair. I don't want to take a spill. It's not that far. It's not that deep. 
a nice little philosophy. Take a chance. On the off chance that something happens, the fall ain't going to be that far, and it ain't that deep. Was that deep? It wasn't that deep. I don't know how many more nights like this we're going to get. In a couple of hours, it's October. My shoe's steaming off the water or it's on fire. That's why I don't get too crazy with the cost of buying the high-end socks, shoes, pants, shirts, hats, gear. Guys, if you're using it, you're going to go through it real fast. And for the cost of some of this stuff, it ain't worth it. Yeah, but if I spend more, it'll last longer. Bowl. That's about the same. Paying triple, quadruple the price. I like being the dollar store answer to camping and canoeing. Then you're not having to work to pay off all this stuff, and then you never get out camping and canoeing anyways. It's funny with the popcorn. About halfway, I start thinking, oh, I'm stuffed. I couldn't have any more. It's awesome, but I'm kind of done with it. I get to the bottom, and I just start scrounging for the scrunchies. I love that. I'll get the kernels out, but I won't clean it out too much. I'll leave the oil and the salt. There's not much in there, but I'll leave that in there. Make my oatmeal on top of that. Oh, awesome. Little salt, little oil with your raisins, cinnamon, ginger, oatmeal, pumpkin seeds. Sometimes a shot of protein, sometimes not. This time I went without. When I was brushing my teeth last night, beaver swam by. Didn't like the fact that I was brushing my teeth out here. Smacked his tail. That doesn't happen too often. You don't get that in the city. You don't get that watching Netflix. Many times does a beaver float by? <laughs> Brushing your teeth. Or a snake two feet away, a foot away even, when you're preparing dinner. It's wild out here. Not too wild. Wild enough. All right, I'm going to enjoy the fire. I'm going to do some exploring tomorrow. I'll take you along with me. And um, tomorrow's home time, too. So tonight is night 42, 42, 52, 62, 72, 70, 80. So, and tonight is night 80 of camping. Is that right? So I've got, this is 40, night 42, 52, 62, 72, 70, 80. So last night was actually night 80 of camping since I started this three years ago. I did 11 nights the first year. That was insane. That seemed like so many. 11 nights. The next or last year, I did 28 nights. And tonight is 42 for this year. And actually, I feel like I need the toque at times and other times not so much. It's near the fire, I guess. It's warming me up. I always like that super hot on one side, cool on the other side. We haven't gotten to that yet, though. Uh, those nights are coming up yet. I hope to still get out and do a number of nights. But uh, it's not that yet. It's still relatively warm. I got a shell, fleece, t-shirt. I don't have long johns on yet. That'll be coming soon. 
those trips of wearing the long johns all day. That's coming. I still haven't changed into my winter sleeping bag yet. My summer one is still sufficient. But I was wearing my PJ bottoms and wool socks and a t-shirt and my um, Patagonia sweater. Enjoy the flames for a little while. Ah, my shoe's hot. Good. Burn. Got to be careful. I paid, I think, like, for those runners there, they were higher end for me. It must have been about $29.99. All right. Let's see what this... Ah, oh, that's hot! That's a hot shoe! Woo! Okay, nighty night. See you in the morning. Let's do some exploring. All right, home time. But I thought I would stop and take a quick couple of flicks. And got lucky, caught myself a nice walleye. So I can't resist. I'm going to stop on a little island here. Sort of see all the way around. and um, cook up my winnings. I really wasn't planning on it. It might rain, it might not, but um, you have a chance to catch a pickerel and fry it up on an island. I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna turn this down just a just a notch. One notches. One buenas notches. All right, let's rock and roll. Oh yeah. Woo, always feels good to get that in the pan and done. Filleted, clean, caught, blah, blah. Right on. That's the goal, right? And again, just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt that I'm going to have and I think I'm actually going to my dessert I already had dates dates will be the carb I packed some dates and um, a little bit healthier than the cookies I've been doing but 
I did dates, but for desserts, I'm gonna throw all the healthy thing out of the window. And I'm gonna have, well, I'll let you know. I'll show you that. Super treat. One of a kind dessert. Guaranteed you haven't had this. What I just did. Damn, dropped all the salt from the top of the sea salt shaker. Damn! Okay, that's gonna be a mess to clean up. I'm gonna need two hands for this, so bye-bye camera. Are you kidding me? All right, there we go. Salt crisis averted. Now, we'll do a little bit of, uh, I've done the popcorn cam. Let's do the, I mean, this might not be smart. I would hate to drop this, but let's do the pickle cam. The walleye cam. Yeah, just about even tripped right there, but whatever. Okay, let's do it. Where do I want to have this? That's the whole point of this, by the way. What a nice spot. Where's the spot? Where's the spot? Those rocks over there look pretty cool. Oh, those are pretty. Them's pretty. Nice shot there, right? With pig roll. Okay. Where are we going? Over here. Well, don't that look rustic? That's kind of my style right there. Nice view. Awesome. Lunch time. Incredible. A touch salty. Not gonna lie. I don't know why that is. Not like fresh fish. Literally 25 minutes from cast to cast. It doesn't get better than that. That's how you eat fish. That's how you eat meat. Fresh. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring. Enough fishing already. And um, see what I can see. I've got some paddling to do. <laughs> Let's go. If that looks steep to you, you don't even know. Snack time 
in that barrel. That looks like a perfect spot for dessert. I like it. Somewhere to put my ass. That looks like a good spot. So sometimes when I'm out here, I'm lucky enough to be visited by angels. Um, in this case, it was Angel Gary. And uh, Gary brought me some goodies. Spectacular, unique, awesome goodies that I have held on to for the last week or two. Uh, because I wanted a special spot for it and I did find my island here and I just had some walleye and it's just making me feel better about uh, it being the last day. He brought me peanut brittle. Um, this has pumpkin seeds, almonds, sesame seeds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, I don't even think there's any... Oh, cashew. There's a cashew in there. That looks incredible. Look at that. Mmm. It's definitely more nut than brittle. That's incredible. It's like a maze of different. Mm. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Gary. I really appreciate that. I also thanks to Pat and Jerry who hooked me up with some fishing gear. It works. Mm, awesome. Incredible peanut brittle, seed brittle, extraordinaire. Thank you so much, Angel Gary. I appreciate that. Um, this definitely gets a 10 out of 10 on the Steve Show Food Fest Road Test. Um, it doesn't get much better than that, especially when it's brought to you when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Um, very cool. This guy here, 19 inch walleye. <laughs> All right. We're fishing now.